Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. Today we have another episode, which is going to be really fun because basically Ro and I are going to be blindfolded and we're going to be trying out and testing seven different toners from one mystery, very popular skincare store. And these are going to be their best selling toners that some we may have tried before, some we may not have tried before. Our team went out and got all of these toners for us to blind test. We have no idea what's going to be happening, which is why we think this will be really exciting for us to show you guys our true, honest opinions without having any external influence via branding, packaging, anything. Preconceived notions, price point, like whatever it is. And I think even though we're talking about the umbrella of toners or toning, both Ro and I have our preferences. preferences and little characteristics of what we look for in a bottle because the spectrum of toners goes from like really watery to basically, you know, being able to slap it on like eight to 10 layers yeah. and then there's the more goopy, almost serum-like yeah. toners. And it'd be really interesting to see like revealed afterwards, what are these top seven and what we kind of gravitate towards. Yeah, in general, what type of toners do you like best? Okay, I like it. <laughs> it's like the not too watery, <laughs> not too thick, kind of like- The oh, toner okay. that's just right. Just right. <laughs> the texture that comes to mind is actually the Haru Haru. Ah. It's not totally thick like the Isn't Tree yeah. um, Hyaluronic, but it's not too thin where it's just like, did I put anything mm. on? But then I think that also chops and changes depending on the season, yeah. I think for toners, I love everything. I do not discriminate when it comes to toners. <laughs> I feel like the only thing that I don't like is ones that are too sticky. Oh yeah. And I think the the Laneige cream skin borders that a little, but it's like, it doesn't tip the scale. And without further ado, let's put on our mask. <laughs> Bye fam. It's gonna be a dark episode. Sensory deprivation. Are we ready to put on seven layers of toner on our face? One, two, three. Bing! <laughs> Okay. First toner. <laughs> Ready to rumble. First toner, Chuseyo. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's a spray. Mm. Oh my God, this smells so familiar. Mm. Wait oh. a second, what is this? It the more smells I smell very uh, herbally. It's kind of sweet. It's like chamomile or something. Or like what am uh, I smelling? <laughs> no, it is. Like her herbaceous flower. I don't think this is something we use a lot, but it's very light. It. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's when not you can't slippery. see things and you're describing things, it's so weird. Oh my god. Now I know what people feel like when they're trying to like describe a flavor, but they can't. I know, and see I don't it. know why my head keeps tilting back. It's like, <laughs> can I describe it better? It's like very watery, but it's also slightly it gets, it gets, greasy. It's like, yeah. <gasps> Do you think there's oils? There's definitely oils in here. It's like- Do you think there's oils in here? It's changing as I work it in. Now I'm thinking like, is it one of those biphase toner oils? Yeah. But even the Sioris doesn't leave no. me feeling like this here. Not, this is for sure not the time it's running out. It's for sure not the rose. It's Do you think it's a Western or an Asian brand? I'm thinking Asian. It just smells very Korean to me. Like a light floral Korean garden mist. Okay, so I uh, don't know what this toner is. However, the key thing for me is that it went on almost watery, yeah. and then as you put it on, it thickened considerably. Like my hands are like moisturized. It reminds me of cream skin. Yeah. Yeah. All right, number two. Do Oh. Oh. Super watery. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Wait, is this quarterly? No, 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 no. Oh, wait, whoa! Did you feel it? Did you feel all of it? It's like water on crack. Oh my god, this smells so <laughs> familiar. And this is very wait. fragrant. <laughs> How do we describe the scent? Dude, tip we've of my tongue. So smell this, papa! Wait, oh, it's a. Ooh! Is it the Wamisa? Is it the cactus? Ooh, I think it's the Wamisa cactus. I feel like the Wamisa cactus. It has that cactus. texture. Wait, this doesn't smell like the Wamisa cactus to me. Hold on, this is toners. Okay, I have to remind myself of this. It kind of smells like watermelon. Yes, it smells like glow like recipe. Minty watermelon. Oh, the big glow, glow recipe. recipe. <laughs> this is the spray toner. No, no the, 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 the big chain cactus. <laughs> Boom! That's it! Hey, whoa! Yeah. 
The scent is a dead giveaway. Holy, oh, it was the watermelon good one. What if we're wrong? <laughs> no, there is no way. You can chop off my hand if we are wrong. We are so no, not wrong. It that texture is like the aloe, like goopy, cactusy texture. Yeah. Next, confident about that one. Oh oh. Trippity drop, trippity drop. Whoa. Mmm. Oh. This one's new. This smells more like that fermented smell. This smells like mum. Mmm. Maybe it's like a, a legacy Western brand <laughs> calling it. <laughs> when you're young and you used to just go up to your yeah. mum and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like a big elephant. <laughs> just kidding. This feels really nice though. It is. It's, it's very a very sweet. refreshing texture. It like instantly leaves your skin feeling like. <sighs> yeah. And it's not completely watery. It's got this slip to it. It's like not thick either, but it's very hydrating. I feel like this is a Western brand though. Or even one of the like in the dark, I'm oh, having wait, trouble but remember brands. It smells brand. very similar to something we've used before. All right, I have no idea. Yeah. But I enjoy this one. I really like this one though. Mm. So one out of three. Uh, one one out three. of three. <laughs> Quattro. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's very watery. Oh. Smells like. Smells like nothing. Absolutely. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Is this just water? Are you trying to trick us? <laughs> Can't even taste it. I think it's water. Mm, it's kind of, I don't know if it's. <laughs> I don't know if I'm tasting like the previous stuff or the current thing. But what kind of toner just gets poured out like a water bottle? <laughs> yeah. Dude, so this is along the lines of those like Benton green tea, Amore Pacific green tea. Like to me, it's just straight up water. But those are scented. This, there's no scent for this. It's definitely not water. It's definitely not water. Dry, hands dry out. This feels very nourished. Mmm. You can feel it after the fact. Or maybe that's just my sweat. Can't tell. <laughs> oh, maybe we're just convincing ourselves that it's not water. No, I don't There's think no it's scent. water. It's a very clean brand. So clean that they harness the scent of water. <laughs> yeah, there's no aroma of floral extract whatsoever. There's no oils. Yeah, but the hand feels very hydrated. It's very this. hydrated. It's shape shifted. I wish after you wash your hands, this is how your hands, like what your hand feel like or how your hands feel. Mm. Cause you know how a lot of times after you wash your hands, it feels so stripped, mm -hmm. but this actually feels like super nourished and hydrated. Yeah, from the inside. From the inside. Yeah. I feel like the, the, um, the depths of my palm, yeah. the cells in the depths of my palm are so plump and yeah. hydrated and happy. But on the surface, there's nothing. This and one. this one, you can layer thousands of layers. You can use a whole yes. bottle in one sitting and it won't be sticky. If it's not a chemical exfoliating. <laughs> <laughs> in which case, you will burn your face. Well, it did taste a little acidic when I licked it. Mm. It did taste a little bitter. Well, okay, that's well. that. Next one. Next one. Sounds watery. Sounds like I know what this oh, is. Oh, 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 trip, trip, trip. Oh, it's earthy. It's definitely not floral. It's like earth, but very light. This is like the previous one where it's watery, but then it's very hydrating. I, I'm gonna say it's the vintage essence. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong, but. No, actually, cause I put it here and it's like, it's not sticky, it absorbed really quickly and it feels plump from the inside kind of feeling. Hmm. But this in terms of- also a bit, um, the more tiny. layers you have on, it's getting a little sticky. Oh, so it's not just me. Okay, yeah, it starts transforming again. So this isn't the Vintage Essence, unless these are just layers from our other yeah. trials, is what I can't decide. This kind of reminds me of like the Tatcha Essence. Mm -mm. Mm. This is something I would definitely use, like just touching my hand now, the finish of it after yeah. a while, love it. Two blind mice, two blind mice, see how they smell. Next, number. Six. Oh, 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 oh. This one's very oh. watery. Oh, oh. <laughs> Flower explosion. Flower explosion. Oh. Oh, this smells like fermentation, yo. That's oh, interesting. Zing of fermented 
it's like ingredients. A kick. It like pew. Is this is a deep hydration toner. Perhaps it's very rosy. It's like rose, but not quite. I feel like this one is complex because of the texture. It's like watery and it's not goopy, but it's not super thin. And then when it dries, it's like a almost moisturizer feeling. Yeah, for fell. The finish of it does remind me of the fresh. Still a little bit sticky too. That's why I don't use that one very often because it's like thicker. Oh, it is clammy. Yeah, I remember it being like, even though it was thicker, it wasn't like this. All right, so that's that one. Last one. That was like a garden. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh. 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 It's very citrusy. Is oh. this like a acid active toner? It smells like very acidic. It's almost like if I got like a lemon dishwashing yeah. liquid. It smells better than that, but like, wow. It's like a lemon sherbet. <laughs> This one is like, it would be really nice to use on in the daytime in summer. To wake you up like, ooh. Yeah. Easy, and it's kind easy, of easy, easy, easy. And you wake up. Um, Saturday skin? Because they mm. have a Yuzu line. Well, I definitely have not used this. I do not think I've used this either. But the texture is really nice. It's not oily, but it's very nourished. And then, we can see each other, we just hold on to each yes. other. My favorite, I honestly like all of them. Mm. I think the fourth one, like you said, was the most unique, like mm. especially going in blind, mm. <laughs> literally. I can't remember one, two, three, but I'm gonna say six is my favorite. And then I feel like seven is almost like a fun one that mm. depending on your mood, you would kind yeah. of use. I'm sorry, one, two, three, I just can't remember. One, I feel like was the thick one, right? Oh, okay, I remember one. One yeah. is the one that was, that sprayed. Yeah. And it went on watery and then it like oiled up. <laughs> It oiled up real quick. And for that reason, I don't think I would go No, with it. I don't think I would naturally go for a hydrating toner. Unless you're going for maybe a really streamlined, simple routine, yeah. maybe that would work. All right, do we take off? Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. What is this one? Wow. Wow! <laughs> but we're right. We were right. The third one is the one that smelled like mom. And it smelled super expensive. Wow! Haven't used this. Ah, oh, I totally this? forgot about this. Yes, I've used this before. Interesting. Dewy skin mist. Wow, it really lives up to the name. That is amazing. Now that I see it, wow. It really did. It was like. Oh, it does smell like Tantra. Wow. I'm shocked at how much that transformed. Like, it felt like the cream skin. But out of these two, if we're talking about like from water to moisturizer, wow, that is like, I don't know what technology they have in this one. I'm beyond shook. Ah, my baby. <laughs> Didn't we say it was, what did we, what did we say this one was? <laughs> hey, at least it's from the same brand. Yeah, it had, it has that smell. It was like, yes, self care. No, but we, we remember we're like, it's a rose that's been through something. So it's more musky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We both haven't used this. No. Yeah, so it would have no idea, but that's interesting. The smell yeah. was like mugwort-y. <laughs> yeah. And there's miracle a, there's broth. a miracle broth yes. crafted from giant sea kelp. <laughs> Deconstructed water, not just water. Did you ever watch Ponyo? Oh, no. Oh, there's the grandma mare in Ponyo who's like the queen mother of the sea. Uh huh. <laughs> she reminds me of the Murph. Oh, the um, yeah. giant sea. $175, guys. Hey, at least out of all things, we got this right, and this one we guess was the most expensive. Mm. And, uh. <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> At least we kind of 
kind of alluded to the fact that it could be water. It's definitely not water. No, I don't There's think no it's scent. water. And then we started second guessing because then it started. It's transforming. like if you washed your hands with water, but instead of water, it like leaves a very hydrating feel. I think it's all the other products we put on. Because we even licked it. We were like, wait a second. <laughs> no, but I think we licked the other products. Ula Henriksen. Oh, this is one that. I also wanted to try. Wow. Oh, it is. The second ingredient is glycolic, mm. and then there's witch hazel, and then water, and then lactic acid. Oh, and the citrus lemon fruit extract. It's very limon. Limonin linalul. <laughs> Man, now that you see it, it's like, oh yeah, of course, it makes so much sense. But when you're blinded. When blinded. you're in the dark. So if we had to put them in price order, it would be so it's like water and then like Henriksen and then and then Laneige, the Laneige. The recipe. Whoa. Tatcha um fresh interesting. Well um I guess this is miracle New York tap water. <laughs> Unfiltered New York tap water. With a lot of vitamins and minerals. Yes. So to wrap up, what is something you've been thinking about or you've come to realize this week? Or in the last week or so. <laughs> it's like drawing a blank. <laughs> Let me just go back in. <laughs> Say it isn't so. Something I'm relearning or that I've re-realized is that you can get inspiration from anywhere and you can learn something from anything. Whether it's something that you may usually not like or whether it's a person that you have a lot of thoughts about or just anything in life, any situation, any opportunity that comes your way, it's an opportunity for you to learn in some way, shape, or form, mm. if you choose to. More specifically, I watched Goop, a few episodes of Goop's um, Goop Lab, their new series on Netflix. And just like off the bat, I mean, I don't really have too strong of any emotions toward Goop as a brand, but I, you know, we all have heard of controversies with, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow, the brand in general. And before watching the actual show, I watched a few like commentary channels. The one that I came across was just so judgmental and so condescending in their tone that it actually made me want to watch the show more because they were so like, oh, it's just goop being goop. And I'm mm -hmm. like, but you know, I'm sure there's something that you can learn from it. And I watched two episodes, one with Wim Hof and another one is like on energy healing. And like, it's actually very interesting, like what they're talking about in the video and also how they like filmed it. Mm -hmm. It gave me a lot of inspiration for like how we can film our shows where it's like more casual, more lowbrow, but it's also well produced. Mm -hmm. That's actually like, I think the whole idea of judgment is also something I've been thinking more and more about in the context of like, you know how I always talk about vulnerability and trying to open up more. I see that the more you're opening up and revealing yourself that you're letting go of judgment. It's like it plays hand in hand. The more accepting you are, the more non-judgmental you are. Because the more judgmental you are means the more judgmental you are of yourself. Mm. So the more accepting you are means you'll become more accepting of other people. Mm. And it's just like a lighter way to live, right? Because it's like, if you ask yourself, why am I judging this? Like, what do I get from judging this? Is it that I seem better or is it like I seem cooler or whatever it is? But what does that actually serve? Not much, right? It mm. keeps you in this vicious circle. And we usually judge people the hardest on things that we're unhappy with ourselves mm. about. Mm. So that's like another big thing. And I feel like the human mind is wired as a trap because like- It's a it, trap. It's a trap, it really is. <laughs> trap that. Like, because I guess some people will explain, we've had to make judgments really quickly in order to survive. Like, is it a threat? Is it fight or flight? Mm -hmm. um, and the, the neurons in your brain just like, psh, psh, and it goes through the same habits all the time. And so like really relearning how to think is really hard because you're almost like sparking new dendrites and neurons. To Neural like, pathways. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you soon. Bye.